Don't Google Glass and Drive in the UK. Mercedes lets us virtually hear the F1 engine of tomorrow. A jumble of car parts get thrown together to replicate a Lamborghini. And the X Games Gymkhana grid is your drift porn for the day. Did you watch the X Games, Erica? Yeah. No, you didn't. Plus, we have a two for one today because multiple people are what, Max? Doing it wrong. That's right. What's up, everybody? I'm Derek D. And this is Fast Lane Daily, isn't it, Zach? Totally is. All right. <laughs> So we're all familiar with the Lamborghini Sesto Elemento. Mm, good. Yeah. The beautiful work of engineering art from Kyrgyzstan. Right? That can't be right. Kind of is right though, because in actuality, there sort of is a Sesto Elemento. Mm -hmm. Made in that former Soviet nation. But it's really just a scrap of metal replica based off a 1982 Volvo chassis. It has BMW X5 wheels, carbon steel, acrylic glass, and other stuff. A design studio called New Format assembled the car over a three-month period, which is actually pretty impressive. It's the same size as the real car, but obviously a lot heavier, a lot less powerful, and well, actually, it can't even move itself, judging from this video. It just kind of gets pulled around on that trailer, I guess. That's it, that's it. Cool or not, what do you guys think? I honestly think it is pretty cool. These guys took a bunch of spare parts and made an almost Lamborghini Sesto Elemento. Great. That's good. Face I'm, melter. I, I play it. Yeah. Air guitar. Yeah. Okay, I wanted to mention this yesterday, but the show was too packed and we didn't really have time. But a lot of you watched ESPN's 2013 X Games, I'm sure. Right, Erica? Yeah. Yes. They added a new event called Gymkhana Grid in the X Games broadcast, including drivers like Ken Block, of course, Liam Doran, David Higgins, and uh, Tanner Faust, to name a few. Tanner Faust actually ended up winning it. Pretty cool, though, how they are making this stuff into competition form. Did you watch any of the X Games? I didn't catch it. See that one uh, motocross chick, I Megan Rutledge? I didn't see it. Okay, well, I'm telling you. Megan Rutledge, she uh, prematurely celebrated and pumped her fist crashed and didn't get gold. Oh my God. Yeah, and then Bob Burnquist, he, on Big Air, destroyed his face. Broken oh, really? nose, broken nose and everything. Oh, wow. Yeah, look. He's the best though. Pretty bad. He's, he's, he has that ramp in his backyard. Yeah. All right. Went on, went on a tangent a little bit there. Like it or not, the age of screaming V8 Formula One engines is at its end. But all that aside, Mercedes is proud of its new 1.6 liter turbo, 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 turbo six cylinder. And to prove it, they released this simulated audio and video of the new engine wailing away. Have a listen. Yeah, that's some virtual insanity right there. <laughs> now, it may not sound as fierce as the old engines, but the 2014 season will feature these loud but sweeter sounding notes. Mercedes says the new power plant revs to an insane 15,000 RPM and the turbo spins at speeds up to 125,000 RPM. And if you still don't like it, you gotta admit, it's a cool form of engineering uh, from the engineering point of view because the technology is so innovative that the audiological pitch shouldn't be conducive to your final thought process. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we? The new Google Glass, or those stupid glasses you wear on your face with Google built in them that just scream, hey, look at me, I'm a gigantic tool, like this guy. They aren't commercially sold yet. But in the UK, they have been banned from being worn while you're driving. That's right, can't wear the high-tech glasses while you're operating a vehicle. Wow. Claiming the glasses will increase the likeliness of an accident due to distracted driving. They'll find drivers similar fees to, you know, talking on your cell phone, which I think is about 90 bucks. Google glasses let users browse the web, text, and make calls. So I can see their point, although the glasses will be able to configure heads-up display functions through the lenses, so that actually could be safer than other distracted driving practices, but I don't know, you'd have to be pretty dumb to be shopping with your glasses while driving, you know? Yeah, definitely. But I 100% wouldn't put it past people. You know, there's actually people who read books while driving and text and all at the same time. It's ridiculous. In my opinion, they look super dumb. I'd rather wear the glasses like that guy from Star Trek rocked, because they look cooler than the stupid Google Glass things. Yeah. Like, they're so corny to me. Would you wear them? 
I don't think so. Yeah. No, you but wouldn't. You wouldn't. You'd try them out. But you never say never, right? No, I'm going to say never with that one. All right, let's watch some people doing it wrong. We have two of them today. It's a twofer. Oh, good. That's right, two for one. The power of the car horn. Do you know its power, Max? Yes. Well, all right. Well, it is demonstrated in this video here. This car with the dash cam gets cut off and rightfully uses his horn to warn the driver. That driver, I guess, got spooked, decided to swerve out of the way, hit the gas, and go right into that pole. Hmm. Let's see that one more time. Well done. I guess he wasn't feeling too horny that day. I guess not. Oh, but he did feel like doing it wrong. Come on, that was, all right. And check out these guys loading this Ford Super Duty truck on a trailer. Well, failing at it, starts to go up the trailer and then the ramp legs weren't completely flattened. Oh yeah, that's some body damage. <laughs> the guy filming cracks me up. He's like, yeah, that didn't work off. Oh, <laughs> Guy just drops multiple F-bombs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wasn't going to say the F-bomb there, but I feel like I had to to complete the... Yeah. And then he's like, now what do we do? Now what do we do? I'll tell you what you do. You don't do it wrong. You don't do it wrong. You don't do it wrong. Yeah. You, you, you look at how you want to load the truck on the trailer first, you really figure it out, and then you do it right. Yeah. Don't do it wrong. Well, speaking of doing it, that's going to do it for the end of this episode of Fast Lane Daily. I'm Derek D. FastLaneDaily.com is our official site. Twitter, go ahead and uh, follow us there. Facebook, you can like us. YouTube, subscribe. iTunes, Instagram. What else we got, Erica? T-shirts. FLD app. You got it, Max. And Vine. Vine. What is it with that Vine? Is it Vine time? Nah. <laughs> it's not Vine time. <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. See you tomorrow. On Wednesday, Wednesday, take it from here, Erica. I don't sing, so back to you. <laughs> Wednesday, Wednesday. <laughs>